So I started putting everything back together and I got the trigger on the trigger guard and as soon as I started putting the lock on I find that as I don't know if you can see but you see that gap in there that's not supposed to be there it isn't fitting in there and the, the part of the lock right here is hitting the piece of wood right there and causing that gap it's not you can see it's not it's not going in completely flush it is on this end but not on this end because it's getting hung up on the wood right there so it means and it's also ca causing a gap there this should be this should be flush and that gap shouldn't be there the lock should be the whole way down here so as you can see I'm not ready for the finish because I still have some sanding to do on this piece of wood right here so this fits a bit better and that's why you do that so you can prevent having to do this after you finish your stock and you think you're done. Alright, so just a little bit of sanding and now you can see the lock fits in there much better and the gap is gone. And uh, of course the uh, barrel's on there and everything's loose. You know, I don't have anything tight, but I just want to make sure that, you know, like I said, just because of little things like that with the gaps and making sure everything fits uh, before you stain. So now, we are ready for the stain. So I'm going to apply that now. Wanted to give an update on the blender bus. And here's the stock. As you can see, it is almost complete. I have sanded it down. I have stained it. And now I am putting on the boiled linseed oil. And I'll rub that in and then it dries and then I repeat that process. And so this is almost done. But it occurred to me as I was doing this, I said to myself, this blunderbuss is like nothing that you have. You don't have any guns like this. Most people haven't seen one in real life. Most, some people don't even know what it is. So why would you make it as plain and as simple as all the other guns that you have. This thing is very unique, so it shouldn't have a stock to match. So that's what I decided to do, was kind of, um, I wanted something that was going to be unique in itself. Because the gun as a whole is very unique. But as we know, when you look at that barrel, that is a signature, right? That The belled end, and it just makes you think of pilgrims or pirates or just, you know, something like that. It's just, it catches your eye. You know immediately what it is. And even if you don't know what it is, if you don't know what a blunderbuss is, you still will see that and say, hey, is that one of those pilgrim guns, right? That's like what they had, or pirates. So that takes a lot of focus, I mean, the gun as a whole. So why not have the stock be something that's interesting too just just so the entire thing is just different and um, I don't know special and maybe people will say this is really stupid that was a bad idea what you did but you know what this is how I'm going with it uh, the stock is going to be unique and I'm not trying to fool anybody here I don't want anyone to look at it and be like oh is that from the 1600s or the 1700s it isn't of course it isn't, and I'm not trying to fool people. But when you see it, I want you to be like, wow, wait a minute, what is that? Just, just sticking with the theme, I think. Blunderbusses are unique. They are different. So, let's just go with that. Let's just make the stock different, too. So that's what I did here. Um, again, I'm not trying to fool anybody, make them think this is really old, but I wanted it to have... An old look, an old feel, just, I don't even know what the word is, maybe antique, I don't know. It's still tacky. I know you can't, you can't feel that, but I can. It's definitely tacky because of the, the boiled linseed oil. And it, it looks shiny, but it's, it's actually rather dull compared to what it's going to, f the final, the uh, final finish is going to be. I'm not going to add polyurethane or something like that. I'm going to... Just make sure it's 100% dry and really polish it up, I think. Really just shine it up. 
Uh, I didn't want to put on something like polyurethane, any kind of varnish. It's just gonna, it's gonna stay like this. So, anyways, that's how the stock is. Um, almost done. I have to blue the barrel. Then I'll have to put all the pieces back on. But then, then I'll have it all together, and of course, I'll make a video about that. So, until then. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you're interested or curious, tune in, because I will be updating you on the rest of the, uh, the blunderbuss as well.